Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's January 27th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here this week. Uh, kind of a steady as she goes week in the muni market this week. Uh, interest rates uh, stayed uh, at their lows after the recent rally, but didn't uh, plunge any further. What did you see? Really was uh, a pretty steady eddy was uh, is a pretty good description. Um, you know there was a little bit of volatility in the treasury market. Uh, we saw some uh, some rallying uh, early in the week, but that was mostly uh, negated uh, the second half of the week, including today uh, as rates are selling off um, marginally. So overall, on the treasury side for absolute rates, um, we saw the front end of the curve weaker by uh, you know call it six or seven basis points. Uh, with the 10 year being off about four basis points uh, from earlier in the week. And then out long, you know, maybe a little bit firmer um, 20 and 30 year treasuries might be a basis point or two lower um, from uh, from where we started the week. So as of uh, as of the recording of this video, the 10 year is at about a 352 and the 30 years at a 364. Um, so not too different uh, from uh, from the end of last week, beginning of this week. Uh, but for munis, that was uh, mostly uh, pretty flat. Um, we saw maybe a few spots in the curve get a basis point or two firmer throughout the week. That's probably giving uh, getting given up today. Uh, so for the most part, we'll probably end the week basically flat week over week, um, which isn't surprising. There wasn't a ton going on. Uh, we saw about a billion three of inflows into uh, into tax exempt mutual funds. And that was offset by uh, a fairly benign calendar at about 6.2 billion in new issue supply. Um, so, you know, not a lot to write home about. Um, that was down week over week from uh, over um, over 11 billion that got priced last week. So it felt uh, relatively quiet. It seemed like deals did relatively well. Um, you know, again, with that fresh cash flow into mutual funds, uh, not surprising to see uh, some some fairly decent oversubscription. Um, and a lot of the new issues. And uh, for the BAM sector and the insured sector of the market, generally, it's actually been a fairly strong start to the year. A big part of that is, as we've discussed in some of our other videos, is the Texas ISD world. Uh, there's no more permanent school fund uh, insurance available for a lot of those transactions. They're using private insurance instead. What other kinds of dynamics are you seeing? Yeah, for uh, for the week uh, and continuation, uh, as we're seeing for the year, uh, for this week specifically, uh, there was over 700 million um, in insured paper priced, um, and uh, you know that brings insured penetration north of 11 percent, which is uh, a really nice factor to see. You mentioned those Texas ISDs. Uh, in the absence of PSF uh, insurance, is definitely helping get some of those deals done. Um, so some of our activity, which was over 400 million for the week, included uh, 169 million uh, for Waller ISD which was priced in the negotiated market by Jeffries. Uh, away from Texas, uh, we had about 67 million for Blackhawk Black Hawk Community College District uh, was priced by Stiefel. And on the taxable side, uh, Morgan Stanley purchased the competitive sale for uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, using BAM insurance. So a uh, very rewarding week um, and uh, so far a month and year to date uh, in the insured space. Uh, next year, uh, I'm sorry. Next week, uh, we'll see how things uh, see how things go. It certainly looks like uh, there's going to be quite a dip in uh, in supply. Uh, you know, obviously with the FOMC meeting, um, a lot of issuers are uh, are avoiding, uh, which is a trend that we've been seeing for the last several months. Uh, but we've got less than or right around a billion uh, scheduled to price on the uh, on the calendar for next week. Um, on BAM side, uh, some of our activity will be highlighted by a $31 million deal for Fort Stockton ISD. Again, continuing that uh, that Texas school district theme, uh, that'll be priced by UMB. Great. So we'll see how uh, next week plays out. Doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, uh, confusion about how the Fed's going to go next week, but people will be looking for any kind of indication about their future course of future meetings. Um, so we'll see how uh, what kind of feedback they provide. It's It's all in the language these days. <laughs> Very good. Thanks for your time, Ryan. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike.